We now move on to module three. Under module three, the first topic is percentages. As the name suggests, percent, so per hundred. Now, take for example, three by five is the number. If I want to convert it into a percentage, I just multiply it into 100. So five twos are 10, so three twos are six, zero. 60 percent. Now, percentage to a fraction, if I want to convert a percentage to a fraction, I'll take the same example of 60 percent and convert it uh, and divide. So when I need to convert percentage to a fraction, I need to divide it by 100. So if I divide it by 100, all I need to, and if I simplify it, I get two by, uh, 3 by 5. So isn't it the same? So the same way, I would want to move on to a few other uh, topics where if in the question it says express x in terms, uh, express x as a percentage of y, we need to write x by y into 100 will give me the percentage. And if they say x percentage of y, then it becomes x by 100 into y. So what happens here is x percentage of y is basically 30 percentage of y. So it's 30 by 100 into y. That's more like, uh, that's, that's how you express it. Now I move on to another topic where it says increase percentage and decrease percentage. Over here, so say for example in a question they ask you, they, they tell you that uh, you have two rupees and now you've been, uh, now you have five rupees. So there's an increase of three rupees as, as of now. So they ask you, so if the question asks you the increase percentage, all you need to do is find the, find the increase of what you had to what you have now. That is three rupees from two to five, two rupees to five rupees. So that's three rupees divided by two rupees. That is your previous holdings, the, pre, uh, the amount that you held before, you in, uh, before it increased. That is two into 100 and you get your answer. That would be 150%. So you have a 150% increase in what, what you're holding right now. The same way, decrease percentage, all you need to know is, say for example, you have five rupees and uh, now you have only three rupees. So your decrease is two rupees and you had five rupees. So that's two by five into 100. So your holdings, decrease by 40%. Now, uh, I'll give you an easy formula of how to do it. That is new minus old by old into 100. So new earning, uh, so basically the new holdings that you have minus your old earnings divided by your old earnings into 100. Normally, when it's increased percentage and decreased percentage, this is what you remember. New holdings minus old holdings divided by old holdings will give into 100 will give you your, your increase or decrease percentage. So we now move on to the sums under percentages uh, where we are going to solve the first, second, third, fifth, seventh, and eighth sums. So the first sum, under the first sum, the first part, that is 45% of uh, of 280 plus 28% of 450. So now 45% of 280 means 45 by 100 into 280 and 28% of 450 is 28 by 100 into 450. If you solve it, you will get 126 plus 126, which will be 252 as your answer. So moving on into the second sum, part one. 
uh, wherein the question says 0.9% of 450 divided by 0.02% of 250 uh, is x. So what we do over here is 0 0.9 by 100 into 450 by 0 0.02 by 100 into 250. So we get, um, say, 4.05 4 and 0 0.05 is equal to x. So then if we, mul if we simplify it again, we get 81 as your answer. Moving on to the second part of, that qu of the question, uh, this, the question says 40% of x is 240. So what we do is 40%, so 40 by 100 of x is equal to 240. So we take, 40 by 100 to the other side. So all we have to do is 240 into 100 goes up as a numerator and, and 40 comes down as the denominator. If you solve it, you get x is equal to 600. We now move on to the second sum, third part wherein uh, they say 12% of, of 980 minus x percentage of 450 is equal to 30% of 227. 12%, 12 by 100 of 980 minus x by 100 of 450 is equal to 30 by 100 into 227. This will give me 117.6 minus x by 100 into 450 is equal to 68.1. So now bringing 68.1 this side and putting the x on the other side, bringing the constants onto one side, plus x by 100 into 450. So that would be uh, 49.5 is equal to x by 100 into 450 taking it to the other side, 49.5, we're taking 450 and 100 onto the other side. So that would be uh, 100, which is in the denominator, will go into the numerator, into 100, divided by 450. 450 comes in the denominator, is equal to x. So that would be 4950 by 450 is equal to x, and so x is equal to 11. So x is 11. So now, sum number three. Sum number three says, what percentage of two by seven is one by 35? So what percentage of, so of is always a multiplication, of 2 by 7 is 1 by 35. So this question mark, I will replace it as x. So x percentage of 2 by 7 is equal to 1 by 35. So x by 100 is into 2 by 7 is equal to 1 by 35, which I would take all the constants on to one side and keep x on this side. So that would be 1 by 35. 7 goes into the numerator and 2 comes into the denominator. So 7 by 2 into, since 100 is in the denominator, it goes into the numerator. 
100 by 1. So 7 5s are 35, 5 2s are 10, so 20, 2 10s are 20. So x is equal to 10 percent. The fifth sum states that 65 percent of a number is 21 less than 4 fifths of that number. Find the number. So I'll give you an example. 10 is less than 12 by 2. So 10 is less than 12 by 2. So that means 10 is equal to 10. Same way, 65% of a number, so 65% of x is 21 less than 4 fifths of that number. So, it is less than, so basically what they're trying to say over here is, it is 21 less than 4 fifths of that number, so that means this 4 fifths of the number is, is 21 more than this side. So to make it equal, I minus 21 from this side so that it's equal. So now if I solve it, it becomes 65 by 100 x is equal to 4x by 5 minus 21. Getting the x onto one side, it is 65 by 100 x is e minus 4 by 5 x is equal to minus 21. So now taking the LCM, it is 105. So 5, so 2, 50, and divided by 2 again, 25, 5 ones are, 5 fives are, and 5 ones are. Okay, so now 2 into 2 into 5 into 5 will give me 100. So LCM over here is 100. So taking LCM as 100, this is multiplied by 1, so 65 is multiplied by 1. So 65x minus 5 watts are 100. 5 into 20 will give you 100. So if you're multiplying the denominator by 20, you have to multiply the numerator also by 20. So that would be 80x is equal to minus 21. That would be minus 15 x by 100 is equal to minus 21. Cancel out the minus signs. And so keeping the x on this side, on the left hand side, and transferring the values onto the right hand side, it becomes uh, x is equal to 21 into, since 100 is in the denominator, it goes into the numerator. And since 15 is in the numerator, it comes into the denominator. So 3 5s are 15, 3 7s are 21, 5 2s are 10. So x is equal to 140. So that is your answer. That's the variable you need to find. Moving on to the seventh sum. It states that in an examination, 65% of the total examinees passed. If the number of failures is 420, find the total number of examinees. So over here, since they are, f they are asking you to find the total number of examinees, that is the variable that you do not know. So you, have, so you assume, uh, let total number of examinees bx. Uh, yeah, so since the total number of examinees is x, and you know that pass percentage is 100, is 65 percent. So out of 60, out of 100, 65 percent of them passed. So the remaining 35 percent, 100 minus 65 is 35 percent. So the remaining failed. So the remaining 
so the fail percentage is 35%. So now if you you know that the percentage, the fail percentage is 35, and you also know the number of people who failed, people failed is 420. So all you need to do now is since, so all you need to do is, 35% of the total number of examinees failed. So 35% of x is equal to 42, because this is the number of people who failed as well. So 35% of x is 420. So keeping the number, uh, keeping x on the left-hand side and transferring all the, all the values on the other side, x is equal to 420 into 100 divided by 35. Seven fives are 35, seven six are 42, so 60. Five, five twelves are 60. And so 12 into 100 will give me 1,200. So the total number of examinees, your answer at the end of it would be the total number of examinees is, 12, is 1,200. Mm -hmm.